welcome to today's video. Today is going to be another mask with me. I'm going to be using my Nip and Fab Skin Glycolic Instant Fix Mask. I do this little spiel at the start of all of these, but if you've not watched one of my mask with me's before, it's kind of like a get ready with me, except with a mask. Basically, I'm going to put on this mask, which is a 10 minute mask. I'm going to encourage you to put on a 10 minute mask of your own, and I will let you know when to do that in the video. I will then chat a little bit about things completely unrelated to skincare and beauty, but I will keep track of the 10 minutes. We'll put some relaxing music on in the background, and then when time is up, we will have had some time together, and also our skin will have had a nice treatment. Kind of encourages us all to use those masks that we may have around that we never actually think of using. So I am going to put this on. This is not a review, but I will link to the review for this mask down below. And then I will come back to chat about some things when we all have our masks on. Mask is on and 10 minutes is on the clock. As you can tell from the title of this video, I thought I would talk a little bit about uh, relationships, romantic relationships in my life. Uh, I will say before I get started that there's not going to be like huge juicy details in here. Um, I don't necessarily want to say negative things about somebody who isn't able to give their side of the story. I just thought I would let you know a little bit about my lifetime and my romantic relationships. Uh, if we talk about first boyfriends, there's probably two answers to that. The the technical real one and then the real real one. When I was in grade seven, I was friends with a group of two other girls. And in our class, there were also two boys who were good friends with each other. I quite liked one of those boys. And uh, I think one of my girlfriends also liked the friend. I'm trying to remember how this happened, but I think the my friend and his friend uh, started dating but I think part of that was like she communicated to him that I really wanted to date his friend um, so we dated which I mean wasn't really a thing I think I called him up and asked him if he wanted to go out with me um, and he said yes and then I think it lasted for a week or two I don't even think we talked to each other during that time we just were going out with each other but not actually like going out anywhere i think i think the four of us went to the movies once dropped off by our parents um but that was it and then after two weeks i believe he broke up with me but like nothing we we didn't actually do anything go out or go on a date or anything during that time i think later on that year we danced together at slow dance together at the school dance uh, but that was maybe technically my first boyfriend. Uh, in actuality, my first boyfriend um, uh, was during my first year of university. So I was not somebody who dated in high school. Um, I think, you know, I, I don't know. I don't think I was ever asked out. But I also wasn't necessarily interested in the folks that were interested in me. And I was very quiet, very shy. Um, fairly low self-esteem, but also just, you know, pretty nerdy, and I was in sort of a specific set of classes that didn't have like a huge number of classmates. I don't know, whatever the case may be, high school was just not it for me. Uh, but I will say out there, I, I don't think a lot of my viewers are younger, I think my viewers tend to be uh, closer to my age, but even if you never date anybody in high school, it doesn't mean you are not going to date a ton of people when you get out of high school. There seems to be a change in attitude that happens out of that sort of like cliquish, everybody's in everybody's kind of business in high school. So in my first year of university, actually within the first couple of weeks, I met a fellow student who lived in the same residence as me. Uh, he was studying computer engineering, I believe, and we ended up dating for the whole first year of university and then into the summer. Um, wonderful person, very sweet person, uh, and he was just wonderful to be my like actual real first boyfriend. Uh, now, when we got into the summer, I was going out a little bit more with friends. We were apart for that summer because uh, we lived in different places and I think I realized like how much fun I was having with my friends, how I kind of liked some other guys who were out there um, and ended up breaking up with him in just a terrible way. <laughs> that may be a story for another time. 
don't break up with somebody at an overnight concert event when that person is your drive for everybody who went to this like concert way out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, let me know if you want that story because I mean, I do not come out looking very good in that story, but I was young and not very smart about the whole thing. So uh, after that, through the rest of sort of my university years, I dated, you know, a few people for like short periods of time. Um, basically through my second year of university, I dated a, like a couple of different people here and there, nothing that was really serious or lasted very long. Uh, and then in my third year of university, I believe it was, was it? Yeah, I think so. Um, there was somebody, I we met at a club in Toronto because this wasn't somebody who was, um, this wasn't somebody who was at my university or anything like that. Um, he worked in sort of the nightclub, a bunch of different like jobs kind of together sort of thing. Uh, and he and I ended up dating for two years. Um, it was a little strange looking back at it, not strange. He was a very nice person, but if you looked at like what was gonna happen with us long term, I don't really know uh, that it ever would have worked. Like he was a little bit older than me. I think he had diff definitely different ideas of what he wanted to do um, like with his life than I did, uh, but we really enjoyed each other's company, very like sweet person. Uh, just the kind of thing that you look at and go, yeah, that's a fun relationship to have when you're both sort of like, I was still focused on school, he was doing his own thing, but in actually, you know, building a life together at any point, I don't see how that would have happened. So he and I dated for a couple of years and then um, broke it off. And then I sort of, uh, you know, wasn't really dating anybody at that point. I was in the first year of my um, post-secondary or my, my master's program. And uh, then that summer, I worked in the same summer job for three years. So basically a year when I was doing my undergrad, the year in between my undergrad and my master's, and then the summer between the two years of doing my master's program. And there was a guy that I knew who also worked in that same company that I knew sort of in that second of three years who was dating somebody that I kind of knew. I didn't know either of them very well. And then in the third summer, they had broken up at some point and he and I sort of got a little bit closer. He asked me to go out for drinks and I didn't think, I thought it was like a whole group of people going out. I didn't realize it was a date, he and I. Uh, but basically from that point when we got together, we stayed together and he ended up being my husband. So he and I dated for five years and were married for five years. So we were together 10 years altogether uh, through me finishing off my university education, getting first jobs. We ended up moving in together after we were engaged, but before we got married, lived in Toronto for a while. And then after we got married, we bought a home together uh, in the Ottawa area, which is how I came out here. Uh, he could work from kind of anywhere in the province and we wanted to actually own a home, which is very difficult in Toronto. And both of us had family in Ottawa already. So that's how I ended up coming out here, having the home that we had. Um, I will say that I think when our marriage ended, we were probably both ready for it. We had a number of different problems. I had a few issues and again, I'm not gonna talk about them because I don't think that's fair if the other person isn't here. I think what ultimately ended the marriage and was an issue on his end that I'm, it's just one of those incompatibilities is he decided that it was important in his life to have kids and I knew that was never something that I wanted and wasn't going to do. So when we had that conversation, it was like, okay, we're, we need to move on with our lives in a separate way. That part was all fairly good. I will say that going through the divorce process for anyone who has done that, even if you like don't have a terrible breakup, it's just very adversarial. So you end up having arguments, you end up having a bad time, you end up having a worse relationship because you've gone through this thing where you're fighting for everything, which is not fun. So I will say that going through that was probably one of the hardest points of my life and it drags on for a long time. Even when we didn't have kids, we always kept separate accounts. Basically the only thing we were trying to split up was the house and like a couple of possessions that it still is very, very hard to do. So coming out of that, 
I took some time and didn't date people for a while and wasn't actually looking to date anyone for a while. Uh, and then through a number of different circumstances and because of where I was living, I ended up meeting my current partner who, once again, for privacy reasons, I'm not going to talk about too much, but those have been sort of the significant relationships in my life. And he and I, my current partner and I have been together for a while now, but I've mentioned before we don't live together. I have my own place here. He has his own place. We're very close, like we're in buildings just a block away from each other, but we sort of each maintain our own lives in this way, um, which I think if you've been in a significant relationship and married and divorced, you kind of appreciate having your own space. Um, you know, we'll see what the future holds, but after being together with someone for 10 years, I really like that I have my own place, my control of my life, um, and it keeps things pretty good for the two of us right now. Um, I empathize with anybody who has gone through a uh, divorce because it's never easy and I've sort of gotten to the point in my life where people I know are getting divorced unfortunately and it's never easy for anyone. It's just such a uh, adversarial difficult process um, but I do think that I came out stronger at the end of it knowing myself more and knowing what I want and what's important to me in life uh, and what's important to me in a partner um, and I do feel just so much better equipped to go forward and make sure that the person who is my partner in life has the same views and actually adds to me as a partner instead of making my life maybe more difficult. Um, and now I am in a really, really good place and very, very happy. Uh, and that is our 10 minutes. So I know not a huge amount of juicy detail, but hopefully enough to get to know me a little bit better. Uh, if you have any questions about stuff, any specific stories you want to hear, leave that in the comments. Uh, I am happy to reply to questions in a future mask with me. I'm going to go wash this off now. I hope that your mask was lovely and relaxing. If you liked these videos, if you like the mask with me's and this one in particular, then give it a thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing all of you in my next video. Bye.